Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to Technology Explore. My name is Usman Chaudhary and today in this video I will make this propeller in SolidWorks by using this drawing. And if you want to download this SolidWorks file or this drawing, I will leave the download link uh, in the description of this video. So keep watching this video till end. Let's start. Uh, first of all, we will make uh, the hub. So for that, click on right plane and then sketch on it. Draw a line. Start it from origin like this and then make the sketch according to the hub. Now um, draw the three point arc and draw it like this. Press escape key and now add the dimensions to this sketch. So uh, first of all as you can see the diameter of this or cylindrical face is 15 or 16 millimeter. So the radius would be 8 millimeter. Also the diameter of this cylindrical face is 22. So the radius will be 11 millimeter. And finally this diameter is as you can see here it is 30 millimeter 30 so the radius is 15 millimeter now add length of uh, uh, these things so this length is 20 millimeter this length is 26 millimeter and the distance from this line up to this point is 17.8 millimeter 17.8 now press and hold control key from your keyboard and select this line and this arc and make their uh, relation tangent now add the radius of this arc 60 millimeter So as you can see our sketch is now fully defined. Go to features tab and then select revolved boss base command and then select this line as axis of revolution and press ok button. Now once again sketch on right plane press ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard for normal to view orientation. Now draw two lines. like this and then draw three point arc one like this and the other one like this now define the radius of this arc which is 150 and this uh, arc has the radius of 86 millimeter now define the distances, uh, this distance 2 millimeter and this distance is 3 millimeter. This distance is also 2 millimeter and this distance is 5 millimeter. So as you can see uh, here the maximum distance of the blade from origin is 25 millimeter. So add 25 millimeter distance at this point. Now uh, draw a center line from this point like this and make sure that this line has the existing relation of vertical. So now uh, select this line and this arc make their tangent relation. So now our sketch is fully defined. Go to features tab and extrude it up to 200 millimeter or 200 millimeter like this. Now uh, click on front plane and sketch on it. Make normal to by pressing ctrl plus 8 key from your keyboard. Now draw an arc, a 3 point arc 
I started from somewhere here up to this line like this draw a line like this and then some more uh, three point arcs so follow this sketch um, as you can see in the drawing so now um, select both these points and make their vertical relation and then define the distance from the origin as you can see it is 9 mm then uh, you sketch fillet command and uh, here is uh, this fillet radius is 6 so type here 6 mm and then select this corner and this corner press ok button once again press ok button now um, select this arc and this line make their tangent relation also select this arc and this arc and make their tangent relation this arc and this arc and between them there is a tangent relation so now um, if you can see this point is horizontally aligned with the origin so select this origin and this point make their horizontal relation now define the radius of this arc 4, 5, 0 millimeter. The distance between both these points is 1, 0 millimeter. Radius of this arc is 1, 0, 0 millimeter. The radius of this arc is 9, 4 millimeter. Also, radius of this arc is 3, 2, 0, 0 millimeter and uh, finally if you can see here the minimum distance from the origin um, to blade is 8 millimeter so define the distance between origin and this arc like this press ok button now go to liters and then scroll down and select minimum or min from here now type here 8 millimeter so our sketch is now fully defined now we have to do some uh, more things first of all select this circle and from here select convert entities now draw a line and start it from here like this up to this point up to this point and this point once again draw a line from here like this like this and this point now uh, use trim entities command trim this side of the circle and also this side of the circle and uh, then press ok button now go to features tab and from here select extrude cut command so uh, it will ask you to select contours or closed areas select this area this area and this area so make sure that um, uh, this extrude cut is cutting all the blade press ok button now if you can see here in the section view uh, there is a fillet and it has a radius of 1 millimeter so select fillet command from here from the X features tab and then define the fillet radius 1 and then select this line for this arc this line and this line and then press ok button now um, click on this arrow below the linear pattern command and then from here select circular pattern and uh, then click on this box for pattern axis and then select this circle now uh, here on the features and faces box drop down this uh, feature tree and from here select extrude box 1 uh, cut extrude 1 and fillet 1 
and press ok button now we can apply different um, appearances to this um, propeller this is how we can do uh, the propeller uh, like this in solid works i hope you have enjoyed and learned from this video thanks for watching and sparing time and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel for more videos like this